The concept of Nibiru, also known as Planet X, has fascinated and puzzled people for decades. As an alleged celestial body that orbits our sun every 3,600 years, Nibiru is said to have a profound connection to ancient civilizations, particularly the Sumerians and their supposed extraterrestrial creators, the Anunnaki. This script will explore the theories, speculations and evidence regarding Nibiru, its connection to the Sumerians and Anunnaki, and the importance of critical thinking and scientific inquiry in examining these claims. Welcome to life's biggest questions. Let's dive into some theories about Nibiru. The concept of Nibiru can be traced back to Zechariah Sitchin, a Soviet-born American author who wrote a series of books starting with The Twelfth Planet in 1976. Sitchin claimed that he had deciphered ancient Sumerian texts and discovered references to a hidden planet called Nibiru, which supposedly orbits our sun every 3,600 years. According to Sitchin, this planet is home to the Anunnaki, an advanced extraterrestrial race that created the Sumerian civilization and influenced human history. The Sumerians were one of the earliest known civilizations, emerging in the region of modern-day Iraq around 4,500 BCE. They are credited with inventing the first known system of writing. The cuneiform script and their myths and legends have captivated the imagination of many. Sitchin's work connects the Sumerians to the Anunnaki, a race of beings who, according to his interpretation of the ancient texts, came to Earth from Nibiru in search of gold. Sitchin claimed that these beings genetically engineered the human race to serve as their labor force, mining gold and performing other tasks. This controversial theory has led to numerous speculations about the Anunnaki's role in human history and their possible return to Earth when Nibiru approaches our solar system. The Nibiru Cataclysm Theory is a doomsday scenario that has gained popularity in recent years, particularly in the realm of conspiracy theories. Proponents of this theory claim that Nibiru's approach will cause widespread destruction and chaos on Earth, including devastating earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and massive tsunamis. Some even believe that the gravitational pull of Nibiru could cause a pole shift, resulting in the rapid and catastrophic displacement of the Earth's crust. These predictions have caused fear and panic among some who believe that the end of the world is imminent. However, it is essential to note that there is no scientific evidence to support the existence of Nibiru or the cataclysmic events it is said to cause. The Nibiru myth has been widely criticized and debunked by scientists, historians and scholars. The primary critique is the lack of scientific evidence supporting the existence of a hidden planet with such a peculiar orbit. Additionally, the interpretation of ancient Sumerian texts by Sitchin and others has been called into question, with many experts arguing that the references to Nibiru and the Anunnaki are misinterpretations or fabrications. Furthermore, NASA and other space agencies have repeatedly dismissed the existence of Nibiru, stating that if such a massive celestial body were approaching our solar system, it would have been detected and observed by astronomers long ago. Some alternative explanations for the Nibiru myth have been proposed by researchers who seek to understand the origins of the story without resorting to the existence of a hidden planet or extraterrestrial beings. Uh, one such theory suggests that Nibiru may have been a metaphor for the movement of celestial bodies in the night sky, which the ancient Sumerians observed and recorded. Another explanation is that Nibiru could be a reference to an actual celestial event, such as a comet or an asteroid impact that occurred in the distant past. This could explain the widespread destruction and upheaval that is said to accompany Nibiru's approach in the doomsday theories. However, these alternative explanations remain speculative and have not been conclusively proven. As we continue to explore the mysteries of our universe and delve deeper into the history of ancient civilizations, it is crucial to rely on the principles of scientific inquiry and evidence-based research to separate fact from fiction. While the Nibiru myth may serve as an interesting topic of discussion and speculation, it is essential to recognize its limitations and maintain an open mind to alternative explanations and new discoveries. While the Nibiru myth and its connection to the Sumerians and the Anunnaki remain a popular topic of speculation, the question of what is truly known about this purported hidden planet remains open. With so much uncertainty and conjecture, it's crucial to take a closer look at the foundations of these theories and examine the evidence in a broader context. 
As mentioned earlier, much of the speculation surrounding Nibiru and the Anunnaki comes from the work of Zechariah Sitchin, who claimed to have deciphered ancient Sumerian texts and discovered references to a hidden planet and its advanced extraterrestrial inhabitants. However, Sitchin's work has been criticized by scholars of Sumerian history and language, who argue that his interpretations are not based on sound linguistic and historical analysis. This has led some to question the validity of the Nibiru myth as a whole. One of the primary reasons the Nibiru myth continues to resonate with people is the allure of the unknown and the human tendency to seek out explanations for seemingly inexplicable phenomena. For example, many people have looked to the Nibiru myth as a way to explain the apparent sudden rise of the Sumerian civilization, which is known for its advanced knowledge of astronomy, mathematics and engineering. However, it is essential to consider alternative explanations and to recognize that the development of human civilization is a complex and multifaceted process that cannot be reduced to a single simplistic cause. Furthermore, as our understanding of the universe and our place in it continues to expand, the idea of a hidden planet or extraterrestrial beings becomes less and less likely. Advances in astronomy, such as the discovery of exoplanets and the increasing precision of our telescopes, have not provided any credible evidence for the existence of Nibiru or any similar undiscovered celestial body within our solar system. It is also worth considering the potential psychological and cultural factors that contribute to the enduring appeal of the Nibiru myth and its connection to the Anunnaki. For many people, the idea of a hidden planet inhabited by advanced beings offers a sense of wonder and fascination as well as a possible explanation for the mysteries of human history and the origins of our species. This desire for meaning and understanding can be a powerful motivator, leading some individuals to embrace speculative theories that may not be grounded in fact. Another factor that may contribute to the popularity of the Nibiru myth is the role of conspiracy theories and the appeal of hidden knowledge. The idea that powerful forces are at work behind the scenes Manipulating human history and concealing the truth can be both frightening and intriguing. This fascination with the hidden and the unknown can make it difficult for some people to differentiate between fact and fiction, especially when it comes to topics like Nibiru and the Anunnaki. In the face of these challenges, it is essential for those interested in the Nibiru myth and its connections to the Sumerians and the Anunnaki to approach these topics with an open mind and a critical eye. By doing so, we can gain a better understanding of the origins and development of these ideas and avoid being misled by unproven claims and unfounded speculation. This approach also allows us to appreciate the genuine accomplishments and contributions of the ancient Sumerian civilization without attributing their achievements to extraterrestrial intervention. The Sumerians were a remarkable and innovative people and their legacy can be better understood and appreciated when examined in the context of human history and development. Ultimately, the question of whether Nibiru exists or if the Anunnaki played a role in human history remains unanswered. But it is crucial to approach these topics with a healthy dose of skepticism and a commitment to scientific inquiry. As we continue to explore our universe and uncover the secrets of our past, it is essential to rely on empirical evidence and well-supported theories rather than speculation and unverified claims. It is also important to remember that the history of human civilization is rich and diverse with countless factors contributing to its development. Reducing the complexity of our past to the influence of a single hidden planet or extraterrestrial race may be appealing in its simplicity, but it ultimately does a disservice to our understanding of the intricate tapestry of human history. While the Nibiru myth and its connections to the Sumerians and the Anunnaki remain a topic of fascination for many, it is essential to approach these ideas with a critical and discerning mindset. By doing so, we can better appreciate the achievements of ancient civilizations like the Sumerians, as well as the wonders of our universe, without being misled by unfounded speculation or unproven theories. As we continue to explore the cosmos and delve into the mysteries of our past, it is our responsibility to remain open to new ideas and discoveries, while also maintaining a commitment to rigorous scientific inquiry and evidence-based understanding. Only in this way can we hope to truly uncover the secrets of our universe and our place within it. 
Mesopotamia, often referred to as the cradle of civilization, was located between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers in present-day Iraq. This region's fertile lands and abundant water supply allowed for the development of advanced agriculture. Mesopotamia was home to several notable civilizations, including the Sumerians, the Babylonians, the Assyrians, and the Akkadians. These societies thrived in a region known as the Fertile Crescent, an area stretching from the Nile River in Egypt to the Tigris and Euphrates rivers in Mesopotamia. This crescent-shaped region had a favorable climate and fertile soil, allowing early civilizations to develop advanced agricultural techniques and support dense populations. Mesopotamia's position at the crossroads of Asia, Africa and Europe made it a hub for trade and cultural exchange. The region was a melting pot of different peoples, languages and ideas, which fueled the development of new technologies, art forms and social structures. Around 4,500 BCE, the Sumerians established the first known urban civilization in Mesopotamia. They built city-states, each with its own unique culture, political structure and religious beliefs. Some of the most famous city-states were Ur, Uruk and Eridu. The Sumerians are known for their impressive architectural feats, such as the construction of monumental temples called ziggurats. These stepped pyramids served as religious centers and were dedicated to various Sumerian gods. The Sumerians were pioneers in many fields, from agriculture and writing to mathematics and law. They developed a complex system of government and administration, which allowed them to maintain control over their vast territories and maintain a high level of organization within their city-states. The Sumerians were a highly innovative civilization that made numerous contributions to human progress. Their most significant achievement was the development of cuneiform, one of the earliest forms of writing. Cuneiform allowed the Sumerians to record a wide range of information from administrative records and legal codes to literature and personal correspondence. This system of writing laid the foundation for the preservation and transmission of knowledge, which is essential for any advanced civilization. In the field of mathematics, the Sumerians made several groundbreaking contributions. They developed a base 60 number system, which is still used today for measuring time and angles. This system allowed the Sumerians to perform complex calculations, which were crucial for their advancements in agriculture, engineering and astronomy. They also invented geometry, enabling them to plan and construct elaborate architectural structures. The base 60 number system, also known as the sexagesimal system, was developed by the ancient Sumerians around 2000 BCE. It is a positional numeral system that uses a base of 60, as opposed to the base 10 decimal system that we use today. This means that in the base 60 system, there are 60 unique digits, from 0 to 59, used to represent numbers, and each place value in a numeral is a power of 60. The exact reasons behind the development of the base 60 system are not entirely clear, but it is believed that the Sumerians chose this base due to its divisibility by several smaller numbers. The number 60 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30 and 60. One of the most significant applications of the base 60 system in ancient Sumerian society was in the field of astronomy. The Sumerians used the sexagesimal system to measure time, dividing the day into 24 hours, each hour into 60 minutes, and each minute into 60 seconds. This division is still used today in our modern timekeeping system. The base 60 system was also used in geometry and the measurement of angles. The circle was divided into 360 degrees, a multiple of 60, and each degree was further subdivided into 60 minutes, and each minute into 60 seconds. This division of angles is still used today in fields such as navigation and cartography. The ancient Babylonians who succeeded the Sumerians also used the base 60 system for their calculations. They developed a more sophisticated sexagesimal positional system, which included a placeholder symbol to represent an empty position. This innovation made their numeral system more efficient and easier to use for complex calculations. The ancient Sumerians and Babylonians, despite existing in different periods of time, both utilized the base 60 number system. This shared mathematical framework can be attributed to the cultural and intellectual continuity that persisted in the Mesopotamian region throughout its history. The Babylonians, who rose to prominence around 1900 BCE, succeeded the Sumerians as the dominant civilization in Mesopotamia. They adopted many aspects of Sumerian culture, 
including their language, which was used as a scholarly and liturgical language, religious beliefs, artistic styles, and most importantly, their mathematical knowledge. By inheriting the base 60 number system from the Sumerians, the Babylonians were able to build upon and refine this mathematical framework. The Babylonians made several improvements to the sexagesimal system, such as the introduction of a placeholder symbol, akin to the modern concept of zero, which allowed them to represent empty positions in their numerals. This innovation made the base 60 system more efficient and easier to use for complex calculations, leading to advancements in fields like astronomy, engineering and geometry. The base 60 system continued to be used throughout the ancient world and had a lasting impact on the development of mathematics and science. Although our modern number system is primarily based on the decimal system, remnants of the sexagesimal system can still be found in various aspects of our daily lives, such as timekeeping and the measurement of angles. Sumerian astronomers made significant strides in understanding the cosmos. They developed a lunar calendar that divided the year into 12 months, based on the cycles of the moon. They observed the movements of the planets and stars, creating the first known star catalogues and accurately predicting celestial events such as eclipses. Their astronomical observations also influenced their religious beliefs and practices, as they ascribed divine significance to various celestial bodies. In the realm of law and government, the Sumerians laid the groundwork for modern legal systems and centralized administration. They established a complex hierarchy of officials and bureaucrats responsible for overseeing various aspects of daily life, such as trade, agriculture and public works. The Sumerians were among the first to implement a legal code, with the Code of Onamu being one of the earliest examples. This code covered a wide range of topics, including property rights, trade regulations and criminal punishments, demonstrating the complexity of Sumerian society. The Sumerians also made considerable advancements in engineering and technology. They are credited with inventing the wheel, the plow, the sailboat, and even the concept of the arch, which revolutionized construction and transportation. These innovations enabled them to build monumental structures, such as the ziggurats, and facilitated the growth of trade networks, both within Mesopotamia and beyond. In agriculture, the Sumerians developed sophisticated irrigation techniques that allowed them to harness the water resources of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. They constructed canals, levees and dams, enabling them to divert water to their fields and create a surplus of food. This agricultural surplus supported a growing population and allowed for the development of specialized occupations such as craftsmen, merchants and priests. The Sumerians were also skilled artisans, creating exquisite works of art in various forms, including sculpture, pottery and jewelry. They used a variety of materials such as clay, stone and precious metals to create stunning pieces that showcased their craftsmanship and attention to detail. Sumerian art often depicted scenes from their religious beliefs, daily life and mythological stories, providing insight into their culture and worldview. As we reflect upon the fascinating journey through the cradle of civilization, we are reminded of the astounding achievements and pioneering spirit of the ancient Mesopotamians, particularly the Sumerians. Their unparalleled innovations, such as the base 60 number system, have left an indelible mark on the tapestry of human history. Through their ingenuity and resilience, these ancient trailblazers forged a path that would shape the course of countless civilizations to come. In rediscovering the wonders of the Sumerians and their Mesopotamian counterparts, we gain a deeper appreciation for the remarkable tapestry of human achievement. Proponents of the ancient alien theory argue that the construction of the pyramids, particularly the Great Pyramid of Giza, required advanced engineering knowledge and techniques that were beyond the capabilities of the ancient Egyptians. They assert that extraterrestrial beings may have shared their technology and knowledge with the Egyptians, enabling them to build these colossal monuments. The precise alignment of the Great Pyramid with the cardinal points and its remarkable accuracy in terms of dimensions and angles have led some to believe that advanced technology was used in its construction. The pyramid's base is almost perfectly square, with each side measuring 230.4 meters in length and only a few centimeters difference between them. Additionally, the pyramid is aligned to true north with an astonishing accuracy of 1 15 of a degree, a level of precision that would be difficult to achieve even with modern technology. 
The transportation and placement of massive stone blocks weighing several tons each have raised questions about the Egyptians' ability to achieve such feats without assistance from a more advanced civilization. The quarries from which the stones were extracted are located several miles away from the pyramid construction site. Some believe that the ancient Egyptians lacked the technology and resources to transport and lift these enormous stones, suggesting that extraterrestrial beings may have provided advanced transportation methods or even anti-gravity technology. Moreover, the interior of the Great Pyramid is composed of various chambers and passageways with remarkable precision in their construction. The King's Chamber, for example, features a granite coffer that was carved from a single block of stone and is so accurately crafted that it would be challenging to replicate even with modern machinery. In light of these incredible engineering feats, supporters of the ancient alien theory argue that it is highly unlikely that the ancient Egyptians could have accomplished such monumental tasks without access to advanced knowledge and technology, possibly provided by extraterrestrial beings. The intricacy of the pyramid's construction raises further questions about how the ancient Egyptians could have accomplished such engineering feats without advanced knowledge and technology. Not only were the massive stone blocks used in the construction of the Great Pyramid transported from distant quarries, but they were also cut with extraordinary precision. The stones fit together so tightly that even today it is impossible to insert a sheet of paper between them. This level of craftsmanship would be challenging to achieve with the tools that were available to the ancient Egyptians, suggesting the possible involvement of extraterrestrial assistance. Another aspect of the ancient alien theory, related to the advanced engineering of the pyramids, focuses on the method used to construct the pyramids themselves. Theories range from massive ramps to intricate lever systems, but none fully explain the complexity and precision of the pyramids' construction. The sheer manpower required to build these monumental structures within the estimated time frame is mind-boggling, even by today's standards. This has led some to speculate that extraterrestrial beings may have provided advanced construction techniques or even assisted in the actual building process, allowing the ancient Egyptians to complete these ambitious projects. Moreover, some proponents of the ancient alien theory point to the lack of detailed records documenting the construction process of the pyramids as evidence of extraterrestrial involvement. While other aspects of ancient Egyptian culture and society are well documented through inscriptions, artwork and texts, there is a surprising absence of comprehensive records explaining how the pyramids were built. This discrepancy has led some to theorize that the knowledge and technology required for their construction were beyond the understanding of the ancient Egyptians themselves and may have been imparted by other worldly beings. In summary, the extraordinary precision, scale and complexity of the pyramid's construction, combined with the absence of detailed historical records and the limitations of the available technology at the time, have fueled the ancient alien theory. Proponents argue that the ancient Egyptians may have received assistance from extraterrestrial beings who shared their advanced engineering knowledge and technology, allowing these incredible monuments to be built. The ancient alien theory delves into the potential existence of mysterious technology in the construction and function of the pyramids. Some argue that the pyramids might have been used as power plants, harnessing and storing Earth's natural energy through techniques imparted by extraterrestrial visitors. The Great Pyramid of Giza, for example, is constructed primarily of limestone, a material known for its piezoelectric properties. This has led some researchers to propose that the pyramid could have acted as a giant energy generator, converting the Earth's natural vibrations into electrical power. The presence of underground water channels beneath the pyramid might have further amplified this energy generation process, as water is known to increase the conductivity of limestone. Others suggest that the pyramids were built using advanced tools and machinery that have since been lost to history. They propose that the precise cutting and shaping of the massive stone blocks, as well as the seamless fit of these blocks in the pyramid's structure, are indicative of the use of advanced technology beyond the capabilities of the ancient Egyptians. Some researchers have even hypothesized the existence of ancient power tools, such as ultrasonic drills and saws, which could have been used to cut and shape the stones with remarkable accuracy. In addition to the potential use of advanced tools and machinery, there is also speculation about the possible use of ancient acoustic technology in the construction of the pyramids. 
Some researchers suggest that the ancient Egyptians may have utilized the power of sound to levitate and move the massive stone blocks. This theory is based on the principle of acoustic levitation, which involves using sound waves to create pressure gradients that can lift and move objects. Proponents of this idea argue that the ancient Egyptians could have used tuning forks, resonators, or other sound-generating devices to create the necessary sound frequencies, possibly with the help of extraterrestrial beings. The idea of mysterious technology associated with the pyramids extends to the potential existence of advanced knowledge in various scientific fields, possibly shared by extraterrestrial visitors. For example, some proponents of the ancient alien theory suggest that the pyramids might have been designed with a deep understanding of mathematics, geometry, and even the Earth's geophysical properties. The Great Pyramid of Giza incorporates the Golden Ratio, also known as Phi, which is a mathematical proportion that appears throughout nature and has been used by various cultures in art and architecture. The fact that the ancient Egyptians seemingly understood and applied this complex mathematical concept in the design of the pyramid suggests that they may have had access to advanced knowledge, potentially shared by otherworldly beings. Moreover, the pyramid's locations might have been chosen based on their alignment with specific geophysical properties of the Earth, some researchers propose that the pyramids were built on sites with strong geomagnetic energy or on intersections of the Earth's ley lines, which are hypothetical lines of energy that crisscross the planet. This idea implies that the ancient Egyptians might have had a deep understanding of the Earth's energy grid, possibly acquired through contact with extraterrestrial beings who shared their knowledge of the planet's natural energy systems. In addition to the potential knowledge of advanced mathematics, geometry and geophysics, the ancient alien theory also posits that the pyramids may have been designed with a sophisticated understanding of astronomy. As mentioned earlier, the alignment of the pyramids with specific stars and constellations suggests a connection to the cosmos that goes beyond mere coincidence. Some researchers even propose that the pyramids might have served as astronomical observatories or as navigational beacons for extraterrestrial visitors, indicating a level of astronomical knowledge that seems ahead of its time. As we have journeyed through the realms of advanced engineering and mysterious technologies associated with the pyramids, we have uncovered compelling evidence that suggests the ancient Egyptians may have had access to knowledge and technology beyond their time. The ancient alien hypothesis offers a fascinating perspective on the origins and purpose of these awe-inspiring structures, inviting us to question the limits of human achievement and consider the possibility of extraterrestrial influence. While this theory remains a subject of debate, it serves as a testament to the enduring allure of the pyramids and the endless quest for understanding the mysteries of our ancient past. The Anunnaki's connection to the Sumerians is one of the most prominent aspects of this ancient astronaut theory. Sumer was an early civilization located in the region of Mesopotamia, which is present-day Iraq and is considered one of the world's first urban cultures. The Sumerians developed a sophisticated society with advancements in agriculture, architecture, arts and technology, and they are also credited with inventing the earliest known system of writing, the cuneiform script. The Sumerians believed in a pantheon of gods, among which were the Anunnaki, who were said to have descended from the sky and played a vital role in the creation of humanity. The term Anunnaki roughly translates to those who from heaven to earth came in the Sumerian language, suggesting that these beings may have originated from somewhere beyond our planet. The Anunnaki are mentioned extensively in Sumerian texts, which are some of the earliest written records in human history. These texts describe the Anunnaki as a group of powerful deities who played a central role in the creation and governance of the world. The Sumerians believed that the Anunnaki were responsible for the formation of the earth, the creation of humanity, and the establishment of civilization. One of the most famous Sumerian texts featuring the Anunnaki is the Epic of Gilgamesh, an ancient poem considered to be one of the earliest pieces of literature in human history. In this epic, the hero Gilgamesh encounters several Anunnaki gods who help or hinder him on his quest for immortality. The story provides insights into the Sumerians' beliefs about the Anunnaki and their interactions with humans. Several prominent Anunnaki gods and goddesses were worshipped by the Sumerians, including Anu, the sky god and the highest deity in the Sumerian pantheon. 
Enlil, the god of wind and storms, Enki, the god of water, wisdom and creation, and Inanna, later known as Ishtar, the goddess of love, fertility and warfare. The Sumerians built temples and shrines dedicated to these deities, and their stories and myths were passed down through generations. According to Sumerian mythology, the Anunnaki were responsible for the establishment of human kingship. They appointed human rulers to govern on their behalf, creating the first centralized hierarchical societies. This concept of divine kingship was a key aspect of Sumerian culture, with the ruling monarchs claiming direct descent from the gods. The Sumerians believed that the Anunnaki were directly involved in the creation of humanity. According to their myths, humans were fashioned from clay by the god Enki, who mixed the clay with the blood of a slain god. This creation story is thought to symbolize the role of the Anunnaki in shaping human society and culture. The connection between the Anunnaki and the Sumerians is a central element of the ancient astronaut theory, which posits that these powerful deities were, in fact, extraterrestrial beings who interacted with early human civilizations. While mainstream scholars and archaeologists generally reject this idea, it remains a popular and intriguing subject for many people interested in ancient history and the possibility of extraterrestrial life. One of the most prominent figures in the study of the Anunnaki is the late Zechariah Sitchin, a Russian-born author and researcher who devoted his life to the study of ancient Sumerian texts. Sitchin's work, particularly his groundbreaking book, The Twelfth Planet, published in 1976, brought the story of the Anunnaki to a wider audience and popularized the idea that these ancient gods were, in fact, extraterrestrial beings. The Twelfth Planet Theory, also known as the Nibiru or Planet X Theory, is a controversial hypothesis proposed by the author Zechariah Sitchin in his book series, The Earth Chronicles. Sitchin, who was an expert in ancient Sumerian and Akkadian languages, claimed to have discovered evidence that an undiscovered planet in our solar system, referred to as Nibiru, exists and has a significant connection to Earth's history and the Anunnaki. According to Sitchin, the ancient Sumerian texts described the Anunnaki as a race of extraterrestrial beings who originate from Nibiru, a planet that is said to orbit the Sun every 3,600 years. This unique and elongated orbit, which takes the planet far beyond the known planets in our solar system, allegedly causes Nibiru to periodically come into close proximity to Earth, resulting in significant gravitational effects and cataclysmic events on our planet. Sitchin's theories suggest that the Anunnaki first arrived on Earth approximately 450,000 years ago, seeking gold to repair their planet's atmosphere. They're said to have genetically engineered early humans to serve as a labor force for their gold mining operations, which some believe took place in ancient Sumer, modern-day Iraq. According to the Twelfth Planet Theory, the Anunnaki were responsible for the rise of human civilization and the creation of various ancient structures, such as the pyramids and ziggurats. Sitchin's work has generated a great deal of interest and debate among alternative history enthusiasts, but it has also been widely criticized by mainstream scholars who argue that his interpretations of ancient texts are inaccurate and his conclusions are not supported by scientific evidence. In particular, astronomers have not found any evidence of a large undiscovered planet in our solar system with the orbital characteristics described by Sitchin. In recent years, the Twelfth Planet Theory has been further sensationalized by various doomsday predictions and conspiracy theories that claim Nibiru will eventually collide with or pass dangerously close to Earth, causing widespread destruction and the end of the world as we know it. Despite the lack of scientific evidence to support these claims, the idea of a mysterious and potentially cataclysmic planet continues to capture the imagination of many people and fuel ongoing speculation about the existence of Nibiru and its possible influence on human history. Proponents of the ancient astronaut theory argue that the Anunnaki's advanced knowledge and technology had a significant impact on the development of human civilization. They believe that the Anunnaki shared their expertise in various fields, such as agriculture, engineering and astronomy with the Sumerians, who then passed this knowledge on to subsequent civilizations. Furthermore, it is believed that the Anunnaki may have played a part in the construction of some of the most iconic ancient structures, such as the pyramids of Egypt and the ziggurats of Mesopotamia. 
Proponents of this theory argue that the precision and complexity of these structures would have been impossible to achieve without advanced knowledge and technology, potentially provided by the Anunnaki. One of the most intriguing theories surrounding the Anunnaki is their potential connection to the pyramids, particularly the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. Ancient astronaut theorists proposed that the pyramids were not built solely by human hands, but were constructed with the help or guidance of extraterrestrial beings, such as the Anunnaki. They argue that the level of precision and advanced engineering techniques used in the construction of the pyramids would have been impossible for the ancient Egyptians to achieve on their own. According to these theorists, the Anunnaki may have shared their advanced knowledge and technology with the ancient Egyptians, enabling them to construct monumental structures such as the pyramids. This idea is supported by the presence of numerous ancient texts and artifacts that suggest a connection between the gods and the construction of the pyramids. For example, the Egyptian god Thoth, who is credited with bringing writing, mathematics and other advanced knowledge to humanity, is sometimes equated with the Sumerian god Enki, one of the key Anunnaki figures. Additionally, some researchers point to the alignment of the pyramids with celestial bodies and specific constellations as evidence of extraterrestrial influence. The three pyramids of Giza, for example, are aligned with the stars in the constellation Orion, which is associated with the ancient Egyptian god Osiris. This precise alignment is seen by some as an indication that the Anunnaki, or other extraterrestrial beings, may have played a role in designing the pyramids as part of a larger cosmic plan. Despite these intriguing theories, mainstream scholars maintain that there is no concrete evidence to support the idea that the Anunnaki, or any other extraterrestrial beings, were involved in the construction of the pyramids. Instead, they argue that the ancient Egyptians were more than capable of building the pyramids using their own knowledge and technology. Regardless of the truth behind these theories, the potential connection between the Anunnaki and the pyramids continues to captivate the imagination and inspire further research into the mysteries of our ancient past. As we continue to uncover new information and deepen our understanding of these enigmatic structures, the question of the Anunnaki's role in their construction remains a fascinating and enduring aspect of human history. The story of the Anunnaki also raises questions about the origins of religion and the nature of divine beings in ancient belief systems. If the Anunnaki were indeed extraterrestrial visitors, as some proponents of the ancient astronaut theory argue, it would have significant implications for our understanding of religion and spirituality. It would suggest that the gods of the Sumerians and perhaps other ancient cultures were not divine in the traditional sense, but rather advanced beings who wielded power and technology beyond our current capabilities. This line of thinking challenges conventional notions of divinity and forces us to reconsider the nature of religious belief and the ways in which humanity has sought to understand and connect with the cosmos throughout history. While the theories surrounding the Anunnaki and their extraterrestrial origins are undoubtedly fascinating, many scholars and skeptics argue that there is little concrete evidence to support these claims. Critics point out that Sitchin's interpretations of ancient Sumerian texts are often speculative and not supported by mainstream academic consensus. Some scholars suggest that the Anunnaki, like many other gods in ancient mythologies, were simply personifications of natural forces and phenomena created by early human civilizations to explain the world around them. In this view, the Anunnaki were not extraterrestrial beings, but rather symbolic representations of the Sumerians' understanding of the cosmos and their place in it. As archaeological and scientific research continues to expand our knowledge of ancient civilizations and their beliefs, it is possible that new discoveries will shed further light on the story of the Anunnaki and their role in human history. The recent use of advanced technologies, such as satellite imagery and ground-penetrating radar, has led to the identification of previously unknown archaeological sites opening up new avenues for investigation and potentially providing fresh insights into the past. Similarly, ongoing research into ancient texts and artifacts may yield new information about the Anunnaki and their influence on Sumerian culture.
By continuing to explore these fascinating questions and delving deeper into the mysteries of the ancient world, we may eventually come closer to understanding the truth about the Anunnaki and their place in the tapestry of human history. The Anunnaki's potential extraterrestrial origins have fueled interest in the broader search for extraterrestrial life. If ancient Sumerian texts are indeed recounting encounters with advanced beings from other planets, it would suggest that we are not alone in the universe and that intelligent life may exist elsewhere. This possibility has driven the scientific search for extraterrestrial life, with projects such as the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, and the study of exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system, in hopes of discovering evidence of other civilizations. While we have yet to find definitive proof of extraterrestrial life, the ongoing search for such evidence is a testament to the enduring appeal of the Anunnaki and the broader concept of ancient astronaut theory. The quest to understand the mysteries of the cosmos and the potential existence of other advanced beings continues to inspire scientific research, artistic expression and philosophical inquiry. The story of the Anunnaki has left an indelible mark on our understanding of ancient history, religion and the search for extraterrestrial life. By challenging conventional wisdom about the nature of divinity and the origins of human civilization, the Anunnaki have sparked a lively debate that has transcended the boundaries of academia and entered the realm of popular culture. As we continue to explore the vast reaches of space and the depths of our own history, the Anunnaki serve as a reminder of the potential for extraordinary discoveries that lie just beyond the boundaries of our current knowledge. Whether they were extraterrestrial visitors, powerful gods, or a product of human imagination, the Anunnaki's enduring legacy is a testament to the human spirit's enduring fascination with the unknown and our unyielding quest to understand the mysteries of our world and the universe beyond. In conclusion, the Anunnaki continue to intrigue and mystify us as we attempt to unravel their complex legacy. While the connections between these ancient deities and the Sumerian civilization the pyramids and human civilization remain a subject of debate and speculation. Their allure is undeniable. Whether the Anunnaki were simply the product of ancient mythology or the manifestations of an advanced extraterrestrial race, their stories offer us a captivating glimpse into the beliefs and culture of the earliest human societies. As we continue to explore our past, we may one day unlock the mysteries of the Anunnaki and discover the true extent of their influence on our world. Some of the most prominent Anunnaki in the Akkadian pantheon included Anu, the supreme god of the sky and the head of the Anunnaki pantheon, Enlil, the god of wind, storms and the air, associated with power and authority, Enki, known as Ea in Akkadian, the god of water, wisdom and creation, who was believed to have played a significant role in the creation of humanity, Inanna, known as Ishtar in Akkadian, the goddess of love, fertility and war, who was a central figure in many myths and legends. It is important to note that while the concept of the Anunnaki is rooted in ancient Mesopotamian mythology, there is no historical or archaeological evidence to support the idea that they were extraterrestrial beings or had any direct influence on human civilization. This notion is a modern interpretation and speculation that has become popular in some alternative history circles. The Akkadian Empire's rise to power was a testament to its ability to bring together diverse cultures and political entities under a single centralized authority. Sargon of Akkad's unification of the Sumerian city-states was a transformative event, shaping the political landscape of Mesopotamia for centuries to come. Sargon was able to achieve this remarkable feat through a combination of military skill, diplomacy and strategic planning. One of the key factors in the success of the Akkadian Empire was its capacity to adapt and assimilate the cultural and technological achievements of the Sumerian city-states it conquered. This enabled the empire to maintain a cohesive identity, even as it expanded its territories and incorporated new cultures and peoples. For example, the Akkadians adopted the Sumerian system of cuneiform writing, using it to record their own language and administrative records. This not only facilitated communication and administration within the empire, but also allowed for the preservation and continuation of Sumerian literary and scholarly traditions. Sargon of Akkad's military campaigns were marked by a combination of brute force and strategic diplomacy. 
He recognized the importance of securing the loyalty of the conquered city-states, and in many cases he allowed local rulers to maintain their positions, provided they swore allegiance to him and paid tribute to the empire. This approach helped to ensure the stability of the empire, as it mitigated the risk of rebellion and fostered a sense of continuity for the conquered peoples. The rise of the Arcadian Empire also had far-reaching economic implications. As the empire grew, it facilitated the expansion of trade networks throughout the region, connecting the resource-rich regions of Mesopotamia with the wider Near East. This led to increased prosperity and economic development as the empire became a major hub for the exchange of goods, ideas and technologies. Furthermore, the Akkadian Empire's military successes and territorial expansions led to the establishment of a vast and complex administrative system, which was crucial to maintaining control over its diverse and far-reaching territories. Sargon and his successors appointed governors to oversee the various regions of the empire, ensuring that local affairs were managed efficiently and that tribute was collected and distributed as needed. This system of governance laid the groundwork for subsequent empires in the region, such as the Babylonian and Assyrian empires, which built upon and refined the administrative structures put in place by the Akkadians. The rise of the Akkadian Empire was a multifaceted process, driven by Sargon of Akkad's ambitious vision, military skill and diplomatic acumen. The empire's success was also rooted in its ability to assimilate and adapt the cultural and technological achievements of the Sumerian city-states, fostering a sense of unity and shared identity among its diverse subjects. The Akkadian Empire's innovations and achievements were essential in maintaining and expanding its influence, and they left a lasting impact on the region and beyond. The empire's accomplishments in various fields, including language, art, architecture, science and administration, are a testament to its capacity for creativity and adaptation. One of the most significant innovations of the Akkadian Empire was the development and widespread use of the Akkadian language. Building on the cuneiform writing system invented by the Sumerians, the Akkadians adapted this system to express their own Semitic language. This facilitated communication and administration across the empire, which encompassed diverse linguistic and cultural groups. Moreover, the Akkadian language became the lingua franca of the ancient Near East, playing a critical role in diplomacy and trade for centuries. In the realm of literature, the Akkadians made significant contributions to the rich Mesopotamian literary tradition. Among their most notable works is the Epic of Gilgamesh, a foundational text of world literature that explores themes of heroism, friendship, and the search for immortality. The Empire's extensive use of written records also allowed for the preservation and transmission of Sumerian literary works, ensuring that these earlier texts were not lost to history. Akkadian art and architecture showcased the Empire's sophistication and cultural dynamism. Akkadian artists developed a unique style, characterized by a heightened sense of realism, detail, and emotional expression. The bronze head of Sargon of Akkad, for instance, is a prime example of this style, displaying an extraordinary level of craftsmanship and artistic innovation. Similarly, the victory stele of Naram Sin, which commemorates the king's military triumphs, demonstrates the development of a more naturalistic approach to depicting the human form and a keen attention to narrative. Akkadian architecture was also marked by its grandeur and ingenuity. The empire's rulers constructed monumental buildings, such as palaces and temples, to display their power and authority. Advances in engineering and construction techniques, such as the use of mud bricks and the development of the arch and the vault, enabled the creation of large and durable structures, many of which have left a lasting impression on the archaeological landscape of Mesopotamia. The Akkadians built on the scientific and mathematical achievements of the Sumerians, making significant strides in various fields. In astronomy, they developed the first known star catalogue, which allowed them to track celestial bodies and predict their movements. This knowledge was essential for various aspects of daily life, including agriculture, navigation and religious observances. In mathematics, the Akkadians made important advances in the areas of geometry and arithmetic, they developed a sophisticated system of metrology, enabling them to measure and calculate land areas, volumes and distances with remarkable precision. 
Their mathematical achievements laid the groundwork for subsequent Mesopotamian civilizations and contributed to the broader development of mathematics in the ancient world. The innovations and achievements of the Akkadian Empire played a crucial role in its rise to power and its lasting influence on the region. The empire's cultural, artistic and intellectual contributions not only helped to consolidate its authority, but also shaped the development of subsequent civilizations in Mesopotamia and the wider Near East. The decline of the Akkadian Empire can be attributed to a combination of factors, including internal strife, external threats and environmental challenges. Despite its remarkable achievements and lasting impact on the region, the empire ultimately succumbed to the pressures that it faced, giving way to a new era in Mesopotamian history. One significant factor in the decline of the Akkadian Empire was internal strife and instability. As the empire expanded, it became increasingly challenging to maintain centralized control over its diverse territories and populations. The vast expanse of the empire, coupled with the difficulties of communication and transportation, made it difficult for the central government to enforce its authority and maintain order. Moreover, the empire's later rulers struggled to maintain the same level of leadership and vision as Sargon of Akkad and his immediate successors. This led to a weakening of the central authority, as various regions sought greater autonomy or even outright independence. Revolts and uprisings became more frequent, further undermining the stability and cohesion of the empire. In addition to internal strife, the Akkadian Empire faced mounting pressure from external threats. The empire's rapid expansion had brought it into contact with numerous neighboring powers, some of which began to challenge its dominance. The most significant of these threats came from the Guti, a mountain tribe from the Zagros Mountains to the east of the empire. The Guti conducted a series of devastating raids and invasions which weakened the empire's military and economic strength. The decline of the Akkadian Empire also coincided with the rise of other regional powers, such as the Elamites in southwestern Iran and the Amorites in Syria. These groups sought to capitalize on the empire's weakened state, further contributing to its fragmentation and eventual collapse. Recent archaeological and environmental research suggests that the decline of the Akkadian Empire may have been exacerbated by a severe drought that affected the region during its final years. This drought, which lasted for several decades, led to widespread crop failures, reduced agricultural productivity and increased competition for resources. The resulting food shortages and economic instability would have further strained the empire's ability to maintain order and control over its territories. The decline of the Akkadian Empire marked the end of an era in Mesopotamian history, but its legacy would continue to shape the region's political, cultural and intellectual landscape for centuries to come. The empire's innovations in language, art, science and administration laid the groundwork for the later civilizations of the Near East, including the Babylonians, Assyrians and Persians, who adopted and built upon many of the Akkadians' accomplishments. Moreover, the Akkadian Empire's rise and fall serve as a powerful reminder of the complex interplay of factors that can determine the fate of a civilization. Its story highlights the importance of strong leadership, cultural adaptation and the ability to overcome internal and external challenges in the pursuit of greatness. The story of the Akkadian Empire's rediscovery and its enduring significance in the modern world is a fascinating tale of archaeological intrigue and scholarly perseverance. Since the first excavations in the 19th century, the empire's cultural, artistic and intellectual achievements have continued to captivate the imaginations of researchers and the general public alike. The rediscovery of the Akkadian Empire began in the mid-19th century when archaeologists, primarily from Europe, started excavating ancient Mesopotamian sites in search of evidence of the world's earliest civilizations. Early excavations at sites like Nineveh, Nimrud and Babylon brought to light a wealth of artifacts and inscriptions that revealed the existence of a previously unknown ancient empire. Over the following decades, additional excavations at sites like Nippur, Tel Brak and Tel Lelan uncovered further evidence of the Akkadian Empire's rich history and cultural legacy. One of the most significant discoveries in the study of the Akkadian Empire was the unearthing of the royal archives of Ebla, an ancient city in present-day Syria. These archives contain thousands of clay tablets inscribed with cuneiform texts, 
which provided invaluable insights into the empire's political, economic and social life. The Ebla archives also shed light on the complex relationships between the Akkadian Empire and its neighbours, revealing a network of alliances, rivalries and trade connections that extended throughout the ancient Near East. The rediscovery of the Akkadian Empire has had a profound impact on our understanding of the history of the ancient Near East and the broader development of human civilization. The Empire's innovations in language, art, science and administration provided crucial insights into the processes of state formation, cultural exchange and technological progress that shaped the region's trajectory. The study of the Akkadian Empire has also contributed to broader debates within the fields of archaeology, anthropology and history. For example, the Empire's rise and fall have informed theories of social complexity, state collapse and environmental change, offering valuable case studies for scholars seeking to understand the factors that drive the emergence and disintegration of complex societies. Additionally, the Akkadian Empire's rediscovery has played a key role in the development of modern Assyriology, the academic discipline dedicated to the study of ancient Mesopotamian languages, history and culture. The decipherment of the Akkadian language in particular has opened up new avenues of research, allowing scholars to access a wealth of previously inaccessible textual sources and providing a more nuanced understanding of the region's past. I hope you enjoyed our video today. Stay tuned for more exciting developments.